how can I say no when someone offers me faux flowers because they're literally my whole life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a home haul video and then I'm going to do some styling at the end as well, sell my new bits that I've got. I've been ordering a few new bits for my home. Not like I need any new bits for my home, but the girl loves the shop. So I've been ordering some new bits and then I do have some more things coming this week. Obviously I can't show you now, but what I might do is film a separate bit and then include it in this video as well. So I might look different, I might be dressing different things, but I'm just gonna include it all in this video. It can be a little home haul styling video as well. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy watching today's video. Also, as you can see, I've decided to do the home haul in a different location again today. I'm really mixing things up on the channel lately, aren't I? I'm in the kitchen today. I've just got my tripod set up. It's not as like natural, comfy, cozy as the living room. Like just sat on my couch showing you things. But I thought, change of scenery, different room, different setup. And hopefully it's like a little bit less boring for you guys because I'm literally always sat on the sofa showing home decor pieces. So yeah, thought I'd go in the kitchen today and show home decor pieces. So the first things that I'm going to show you are from Ulta Me Home. It's got my address on. Ulta Me Home are such a gorgeous small business. They do loads of like fabric things, so like cushions and like napkins, table runners, curtains, like they do loads of different things and their designs are stunning. Like I it was I, I bought these and I've been wanting them for a long time but I was literally spoiled for choice. I couldn't decide which design to go for. I've got a few Ulta Me Home pieces anyway like some of my cushions are from Ulta Me Home like my green ones and like my neutral ones. So I'll unbox what I got from Ulta Me Home and Jasmine the girl who runs the business is so lovely and her small business is just stunning. Her Instagram is stunning. I'll leave everything linked down below as always but yeah you're literally gonna love these cushions because I just literally said what they were, but yeah, I wanted some cushion covers and then something for the kitchen as well. Just such a stunning pattern. Why? I literally can never get into a box ever. There we go. Right, scissors down. So, oh my goodness, it comes so beautifully packaged. Tied with a little jute string, some little like info cards, a little thank you here and a take care of me note like how to take care of the fabric pieces. So these are all from the same range. They're the Secret Garden range, I think it's called. And just look how stunning. It's like a neutral, like beigey gray background with like white florals. Very, very William Morris vibes. Probably why I love it so much. But yeah, I've ordered a few pieces from that Secret Garden collection. The first is this table runner because my, my current table runner, you can probably see behind me, that's from Ultimi Home as well. And I've had it years and I just wanted a bit of a change and I feel like I've gone more warmer in the kitchen recently and I feel like this table runner will really look gorgeous on the kitchen table and just like match with everything, all the greys, all the neutrals that I've got over there. So I'll pop this on the table afterwards and show you how it looks, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. And then I also got two 45 by 45 cushion covers. I was going to get the inners as well, but I have like loads of cushions in the attic. I've just got two down before setting up to film. So I'm going to pop these on the cushions now and show you how they look as an actual cushion. And then I just need to decide what room to put them in because I don't know. Do I pop them in the living room, bedroom? Do I like mix them up and have one on one bench and one somewhere else? Possibilities are endless, but I feel like living room maybe bedroom but living room so then I can see them like all the time. So let me pop that one there, let me, oh look how stunning. I'm just going to pop the cushion inside. I feel like this is going to be quite hard to do on camera. Well this is going very well isn't it? <laughs> maybe my cushions are too big for it. I don't know why, is that why it's not going in? How do you even get a cushion in a cushion cover? Am I being stupid? I have to like squish it really small and then shove it in and then... I measured these and I'm sure they were 45 by 45. What does it say on the label? 18 inches. What's 18 inches? Alexa, what's 18 inches in centimetres? 18 inches is 45.72 yeah. centimetres. 45. Why would it go in? It's in. I think I was just being very silly by trying to like literally get it in with one hand sat in front of the camera but I stood up and managed to get it in and it was worth the struggle because just look how stunning. I mean look at that. That is just perfection 
in a cushion stunning i do have this one in an oblong shape and i've got it in my hallway and that looks gorgeous but yeah these are definitely living room cushions i need to stare at these every single day absolutely gorgeous i'll do the other one off camera to save you guys the pain and then i'll show you where i'm going to pop them after i show you the home haul bits i also think are those two pieces from Ultimate home i literally love her shop so much she has so many gorgeous designs i know that even josie fashion mumbler and lydia millen shared her designs on like their socials their youtube and instas like that's how good they are even josie and lydia are sharing them but yeah i'll leave my exact pieces from Ultimate home down below in case you want to get any new cushions or like linens or anything like that for your Home. Next I've got some bits from Country Interiors which is another stunning homeware shop. I don't think I've ever ordered anything from them before but their shop is literally stunning. Instagram aesthetic, gorgeous, everything. I just love it and I could have gone wild on this website guys. I removed so many things from my basket because it was literally like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds but I did want to get these bits that I've shown that I'm going to show you today and I've seen the flowers I've got some flowers in here I've seen them on a few people's accounts they look stunning so I decided to get some as well and yeah I thought I'd unbox them on camera with you and then show you where I will pop them later on in the video okay so the first thing are these stems and look how they come in the little brown paper I love that I might even like keep it in that brown paper and take a little Instagram shot like a little sinky or something I love that so much how it comes in the little brown paper and these are give you a close-up they're like I think they're called like star flowers on the website but I just thought they were dead cute to like pop in you know like little terracotta pots or like ceramic pots or like small jugs or vases or anything like that I just thought they were really cute like country modern type of flower really nice creamy color as well not too fake looking and you get quite a lot as well so yeah I'm really really happy with those I think they look adorable and you get one two three four five six six in a little bundle so you could even separate them out and have them in bud vases for like a tablescape that would look stunning but yeah look really cute all together as well so they're my first little purchase from country interiors oh my goodness guys look at this pot it's got scalloped edging. I mean, I don't need to say any more, do I? It's got scalloped edging. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is the cutest little part. Look at these little frills, these little scalloped edges. Oh, I love that. The colour is gorgeous. It's like a greeny grey kind of colour. Absolutely stunning. I don't know if it comes with a little saucer. There's a little thing packaged up here. Let me check if it's the saucer or not. It's a little saucer that it can sit on and then the saucer has like little like foam like feet so it doesn't scratch your surfaces it has a little drainage hole so you can pop a real plant in here as well oh i love that i was thinking maybe these in here that is so gorgeous i love it this could be my new favorite part guys just i can just imagine it on that shelf or on the windowsill living room anywhere I want it in every room. I want one in every room. <laughs> that is just so cute and stunning. I love it. And then lastly are these beautiful Cosmo flowers. So I saw these on AV Home and At Home With Friends Instagram accounts, both absolutely stunning accounts. And they've been styling these Cosmo flowers in a few of their shots. And every time I saw them, I was like, I need those flowers so much. So I just decided to get them and saw that Country Interiors stopped them. So I will unbox, I will unwrap these ones to show you. Look how gorgeous they are. Stunning. They come like this if you want one of them, but I got two from what Fuller Effect. But like I've done in the past, you could just snip them all there if you wanted. I'm gonna pop these in like a rustic pot or like a small like vase or something and have them all together like this. Or maybe one in one, like part and one in the other and like have them in different rooms of the house. So I've got double, double the fun, double the flowers, but how beautiful are they? They're like a little creamy creamy whitey colour with lots of like foliage coming off them as well they look very realistic and they just look stunning on the photos that I've seen so I just needed them and I've literally got about 10 boxes of faux flowers so I really didn't need any more but I just had to get these and the star ones I couldn't leave them look how pretty they are <laughs> like you can bend the whole bundle like that and pop it in the in the pot like that and I just think that looks stunning. It looks like you've got a little faux plant in there, but really it's just like a load of stems. 
That looks so pretty, I love it. So guys, that's everything that I've got to show you so far. Like I said before, I do have some bits being delivered this week, I think. I think they're coming this week, so I will unbox those on camera and like show you and style those when they come. So I'll just insert that bit into the video as and when it fits, however it fits. Sorry if it might, it might be a little bit of a mishmash kind of video, but it doesn't matter, it's all good fun. It's all home decor, which is what we all love, which is hopefully what you love, which is why you're watching this video. But now I'm gonna take you around the house and style some of these gorgeous new pieces. So firstly, I'm gonna swap the table runner over. I am so excited to do this. I love this one, like I've had this one for ages. It's the Nigella Midnight, this swap, but you know, I just fancy a little bit of a swap and a change. Oh, it's stunning, I love it. Yeah, it might need a little bit of an iron, but I'll do that at a later date. I'll just get this on so we can see how it looks. <gasps> stunning. I feel like it just brightens up the table a little bit. But yeah, isn't the pattern just stunning? I love it so much. And I feel like I want the new part there instead of that part. I've literally just put this together today as well for a separate video. Let me move that. And let's pop this one. I don't know if actually we do saucer. Can we do saucer, coaster, and part? Or shall we just do coaster and part without the saucer? Or shall we do coaster and part without the saucer? Oh, I love that. I think I like that because I really like how the coaster matches the train. I've literally just put the coaster there. That is stunning. So, what shall we do? Shall we do the Cosmo flowers? Or the star flowers? I love how this looks though. Oh, that is so pretty. I think I just need to faff with them a little bit just to make sure they all look nice from the front. But I've definitely been inspired by AV Home and At Home with Fran for this idea of popping the Cosmo flowers in the part. I love that, I really do love that. Or oh, should we pop the star flowers in? I'm gonna just unbox it, guys. You can always pop them back in for the sinky. Should I pop the star flowers in? Oh, they come in little little bundle of three, that's cute. Let's try. I really do like how they look in it as well. Spoiled for choice, guys, honestly, country interiors. I was gobsmacked at how many nice things they had. So stunning. What do we think? I can't decide which one I like best. That one looks more like wild and like sporadic and the other one looks more like a like an actual plant. Oh, I can't decide. Which ones do you guys like? You'll have to let me know in the comments whether you like the star flower or the cosmo flower. Oh, I can't decide. I literally can't decide. <laughs> I think I'll have one cosmo in there. And then I might, and then I've got another bundle. I thought I'd need two bundles for a part, but I've got another bundle so I can move that one upstairs or anywhere else around the house. So now I've got two little Cosmo bundles to style. And then what I think I might do is pop one of the star flowers in that rustic pot up there, just because I had to take the flower. I've moved the flower that was in there to the living room. So I feel like it just looks a little bit bare up there now and have that in there like that. Maybe it's just make it a little bit smaller. One second. Oh, that looks so cute like that, doesn't it? It's like wild and ditzy. I love it and it matches with the colours up there so nicely too. Let's move you up. Yeah, I love how that looks. And then I think for my cushions from Alter Me Home, they've got to be on the, on the, on the living room couch. They just look so stunning, don't they? I feel like they brighten everything up. They go with the new lampshade, the flowers and the candle and everything because the, the couch is quite grey. I actually want new couches. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, Jake says no, as you just said, but I would actually like couches that are more kind of like this sort of like neutrally colour, like more of a beige, like a really light beige colour rather than grey. We just want the grey when we first, like we're moving in and stuff, but I would like new couches, I'd love the m &S couch, you know, the one that everyone's got that's actually stunning and like, it comes in loads of different gorgeous fabrics, I would love that one. I do love this couch, maybe if this couch was in a different colour, because I really love these like buttoned arms and the high backs, it's the Gosford high back from Next, I just, I've fallen out of love with the colour of it to be honest. It's not too bad, it's like, it's like a neutral grey, 
but I just feel like it's a little bit cool tone. Going off on a sofa tangent now, but yeah, I feel like this these new cushions from Ultimate Home really brighten up this space. And when I have the new colour sofa, it will look even better. <laughs> Here's a little close up of the cushions as well. Stunning! By the way, I got asked in one of my last videos where these mirrors were from. These are from Dunelm and they were literally £35 each, really cheap, and they came in like a quite a bright cream colour, so we painted them in Ammonite by Farrow and Ball and they just match in here really nicely. And yeah, love the new cushions. Thank you, Ultimi Home. They're stunning, such good quality as well. Hey guys, it's the next weekend now, and as promised, I'm going to show you all of the new home decor bits that have arrived this week. Everything is still in the boxes. I've not unboxed anything, so it will be a live unboxing on camera for you guys as well. So I'll show you those bits in a minute, but I just wanted to show you the state of the living room. Some of you might know, we have started project panelling in here. I've wanted to panel in here for so long. We're just doing like simple panelling, you know, like little slats and like a dado rail on top and then I'll pop probably something on that wall and that wall, but I've not fully decided yet. So if anyone's got any ideas on what looks nice above panelling, then let me know because I'm still a little bit undecided. But yeah, the living room is a mess. It's just when you're decorating the house just get some messes in it i've just like tidied the hall because things were like starting to spread into the hallway and that was like bothering me the kitchen was a mess so i've had a morning of tidying but there's not really much i can do with like the living room and the couches so we just have to leave it like this and the couch is pulled really forward so i sat really close to the tv as well but it'll all be worth it when the beautiful paneling is finished so obviously i can't film in this room so i'm going to go to a different room and show you all of the things that have arrived this week and style them up if i can Unless I'm deciding to put anything in the living room, then I obviously won't be able to style it up in here just yet. But I'll see what I can do. I'll see where I want to pop the different things. And can you literally see this sun shining through? It's literally boiling today. I'm in a little top and jeans. I just asked Alexa what the weather was and she said highs of 19 degrees, which is which just makes me so happy. Summer is coming, guys. I just got my sunglasses out of my wardrobe they are officially coming out today because we've got a little barbecue at jake's parents tonight so that will be lovely to sit out and have some barbecue food it's definitely barbecue weather today that's for sure so yeah exciting day today i'm going to show you the home deco bits now and yeah hope you enjoy watching the rest of the video i guess it's still the same video for you but to me it feels like a different video but i'm just going to edit them all together look at my little girly flopping in the middle of all her mess you are a messy bunny rabbit, but you're very pretty. Isn't she just the prettiest little bunny? I think maybe next time I show the bunnies on camera, they could both be in here. We've still got pig pigs upstairs in the spare room because we can't bond them just yet, but in a week or two, we're deciding to bond them because they're, because Piglet's finally old enough and has recovered after his operation. So yeah, I'm really excited to get them both in here and they'll probably be double the mess which is gonna be even more work for us to tidy, but never mind, they're just so cute. I love you. So I'm in the bedroom doing the second part of the home haul, and I don't think I've ever done a home haul in the bedroom before, which is random. But yeah, I just thought I'd come up and, you know, have a little bit of a change of scenery. You guys can see how the bedroom looks as well, because I know I don't show the bedroom on YouTube too often. So yeah, just thought I'd come and do the home haul, the rest of the home haul in here. And the first thing I'm gonna show you isn't really like home decor piece, but I am very excited about it. But here is my new book, the new Bridgerton book. It's the Queen Charlotte book. I have just watched Queen Charlotte on Netflix. I blitzed it over a weekend. I would have done it all in one go, but we had plans, so I had to stop. But I loved it. And I'm but I'm biased because I love Bridgerton and I love all like this period drama that's like a bit more I don't know, embellished a little bit because of like the dresses and the crowns and everything. I I don't think it was really like this in those times in the eighteen hundreds. Was it the eighteen hundreds? Like 17 late 1700s 1800s but i don't care because i love it and it makes me wish that i was like a princess in those times but never mind i am actually obsessed with all things bridgerton queen charlotte was so good i loved it and so i decided to get the book and like i was saying before i went off on a tangent it's written by julia quinn which who is the no, like normal author and also shonda rhymes who i think produces the the actual netflix oh it says here yeah, she produces the Netflix, like, TV show. So I, I think maybe this was written, like, with the TV show. Because I don't think they made the TV show after a book. But they based it on characters from the book. So I think this was, like, a like an after book, if that makes sense. But anyway, I'm really excited to read it. So I'm currently reading 
book for which is Colin and Penelope's story and I nearly finished that so when I finish that I'm gonna read this one. So yeah that's my first little thing and now I will get on with the home decor things. <laughs> So in this box I've got some pieces from one of my favourite small businesses, Just So Interiors. And I speak about them all the time on my channel now, you guys know how much of an amazing business they are. Their Instagram is perfect, their home decor that they sell in their shop is stunning. So I'm always really happy when I've got a Just So Interiors package to unbox. And she always writes me a little note as well which is dead sweet. So let me pop it on the floor and pick up the first item. So the first thing is this stunning tea towel. I love a tea towel. I'll probably take after my mum. My mum's probably got about 100 tea towels in her in her cupboards in the kitchen and I'm, I'm getting that way as well. How stunning is this tea towel? We are all thinking it, aren't we? White company vibes. Am I right? This like neutral stripe is very white company and I'm guessing that this was a really affordable little tea towel from Just So Interiors. It's stunning and it's got a little like label hook there which I always like that tea, if tea towels have this because I like to hang them on my peg shelf in the kitchen this is definitely going to go on the peg shelf in the kitchen or on one of my peg shelves because I've got two that is absolutely gorgeous lovely neutral colours and you will know if you watch my videos regularly but if you are new here or if you don't know I do have a really good discount code for just so interiors it's florally 15 to save you 15% off which is really good so you can get this gorgeous little white company inspired tea towel for 15% off off too. Guys I am obsessed with this already and I can only see it through the bubble wrap. This is me all over. Look at that. Oh my goodness I love it. I love a bubble edge, little like bubble scallop frilly edge. I feel like I say that in every video but it's true. Look how stunning. It's like a little a little dish but I feel like a candle in here like a little pillar candle would be stunning. This is so White Company vibes as well. White Company are literally selling ceramics like this right now with this little like bubbled like bald edge. I adore this so much. This is going to be such a cute little like, you know, like small little accessory piece. Sometimes like I always say this, sometimes you don't want accessories that are too big. Sometimes lots of little smaller accessories look really nice and this is stunning such a gorgeous i was going to say kitchen piece but i can imagine this in a bedroom i'm i'm thinking like a candle plate that's what i'm thinking for it but you could have it as a little you know dish at the side of your bedside table pop your jewelry on but i'm definitely thinking a candle on top of this or like a tea light or something and you can literally pop this anywhere and it really is giving off white company vibes like just look at that stunning. I'm going to pop a picture on the screen of this new White Company collection. I think it's new because I've only seen it recently, like a few months or so ago, and you can see how similar it looks. <gasps> I love it. Ah, I love it so much. Who else would get excited over a tiny little bowl like that? Please tell me I'm not alone in this. Please tell me that you're excited about this as well. <laughs> and then I think this is a bigger version of that. Let me see. <gasps> it is. Oh gosh guys, this is stunning. Now this does look like the White Company ones because like, the ones that White Company sell are pretty much this size. Oh wow, that is stunning. A lovely decorative bowl. This could even be a fruit bowl as well. My last fruit bowl was from Just So Interiors with the little white like big bubbles around the side. And now I feel like I've got another one to switch it up with every now and again as well. But this would be stunning like on a dining room table with like an arrangement in there. I'm thinking like Easter time with some eggs in there, a candle in the middle, like a chunky candle with some bits around the side. Oh wow, that is absolutely beautiful. You could even like buy the whole range and have these as like your bowls, you know, that you actually eat out of if you're if you're feeling really extra. But I love it. How beautiful is that? If you've got like really wide shelves, like in, in my mum's house, she's got like like lots of shelving units with really wide shelves. So she's got like enough room to pop things like this on a like big Neptune bowls and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't because I don't really have like the, I don't really have a big enough house to have those types of shelves but if you do this would be stunning you know like shelves at the side of people's tvs like you've got quite a, a long shelf to pop them on am i making sense anyway it would look really nice on one of those with like a of other bits as well 
but I'm definitely going to find a good use for this. Maybe on a windowsill. If you like it's a downstairs piece, like a living room or a kitchen piece. Oh, I love it. This is them both together. Wow, they're stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> so yeah, love those pieces from Just So Interiors. As always, they literally nail it every time. I've got so many pieces in my home from Just So Interiors, just their decor that they have on their website is just so gorgeous. Like this vase, for example. They just have so many gorgeous bits. So if you do fancy getting any of these bits or anything that you see around my home, don't forget to use the code FLORALLY15 to save you 15% off. So now I have some beautiful faux stems, which I'm very excited to receive because some of you might follow this gorgeous faux flower company on Instagram called Amaranthine Blooms. This is it. And they are absolutely stunning. Their Instagram is gorgeous as well. But on, in fact, when this video is live, they will have rebranded actually. They're going to be called the Faux Flower Company instead. And for the exciting launch of their new name, they've kindly asked if they could send me some beautiful faux flowers. And of course, I said yes, because A, they're a gorgeous small business and their Instagram and the flowers that they sell are literally stunning and look so realistic. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. And B, how can I say no when someone offers me faux flowers? Because I literally, my whole life. So it comes on nicely wraps as well in this gorgeous dark tissue paper and a little ribbon there that says the faux flower company. Get a little card like this and on the back is a care guide and also like a styling and after care guide for your faux flowers as well, which is really good like actually receiving fresh flowers isn't it i can see them already and they are literally stunning oh my oh i am lost for words look at that peony oh my goodness peonies are my i want to say all-time fave but i do love hydrangeas and roses but i love a peony and i really want peonies at the wedding next year white peonies oh wow can you get over this guys they look so realistic oh look how fluffy they are wow i think this is a white peony bouquet that they actually stuck as a bouquet on the website and you get one two three four five six peonies in and guys they look they look like real peonies oh they are stunning i know i keep gasping but i'm literally like this is the first time i've seen them so like I was saying to Helena last week when we were doing our little filming, when it's a blind unboxing, like when when I do a normal haul, I've seen everything before and I just like show you guys, but when it's like an unboxing, I'm like amazed because I just amazed every time a gorgeous package comes through the door and I'm so grateful to receive beautiful packages like this. Oh my goodness, these are my new favourite faux flowers. They are stunning. I I can't guys guys, I literally can't stop looking at them. I can't get over it. <laughs> The leaves look so realistic as well, like a really realistic colour green. The stems look really realistic, like how an actual stem would look, like a greeny browny colour. You get loads of little leaves on, I'll show you on one head. Loads of little leaves on and then you get one like little bud that's starting to bloom and then a big fluffy peony. I'm going to style these up. ASAP, this is the last thing I've got to show you now guys, so I'm going to style them up now and show you how they look in a vase, but I mean, <gasps> imagine, oh my goodness, the wedding next year, me walking down with some peonies. I could literally walk down with these and the wedding would be made. I love them. <gasps> they're gorgeous. So they've told me as well that they're gonna have a 20% off discount code off everything on the website. I mean, that is very dangerous, having 20% off everything on the website because, I mean, not dangerous for them, dangerous for, faux flower obsessed people like me and probably like you guys as well if you're watching this video because that is a very generous discount code for the launch of their new name and the code is new name 20 i'll pop it on the screen now and i'll pop it down below and that can save you 20 percent off everything from their gorgeous website including these stunning peonies absolutely beautiful i'm gonna go and style them up now and style up the new tea towel and my new ceramic bits i'm very excited so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching me unbox those things sorry i'm very excitable but i just get really excited when new gorgeous home decor comes my way so hopefully you can cope with my like <gasps> every like two minutes <laughs> so now i'm gonna bring you back downstairs and let's do some styling so guys in the kitchen i've just scoffed a donut, a chocolate donut for lunch. That's not getting wedding dress body ready, is it? But they were just there and no self-control. And it was so funny. Like I've been, I've, I've put myself on a Reese's ban because I feel like it's not helping my skin. 
eating all these Reese's and it's also probably not helping my figure either so I've put myself on a Reese's ban but then one of my friends at work Amy on Friday yesterday she went out to the shop at lunchtime and she came back and she handed me some Reese's because she knows I like them I was like oh so yeah I ate both of those Reese's the little peanut butter things little like circle things I ate them both in the day and then Jake went to the co-op to get some milk and I asked him to get me some more Reese's so I had four Reese's yesterday so I'm on a Reese's ban again no one buy me Reese's because I just don't want bad skin or bad figure for the wedding <laughs> sorry about the pots and pans on the sink I'm gonna move them in a sec but I'm going to just style some things up but I've just popped the peonies in this glass vase that I got from Boxwood Interiors and what I'm gonna do is pop a little bit of water in because they, this looks, they look like fresh flowers. Remember when I had those white hydrangeas? I, I got so many questions asking if they were real or fake because they look so re realistic and they were real flowers but these look like real flowers but they're not and it pains me so much when you get really nice flowers and then they just die in a week or two weeks but the, the joy that is in me knowing that these flowers are not going to die because they are faux I just I'm gonna have these out in the kitchen all summer all spring summer I am just obsessed so I'm gonna go and pop some water in make them look even more realistic and then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have them on the windowsill in the middle I think like where I had the hydrangeas because I just loved how that looked so much so yeah let me go and move those pots and pans go and pop them away and we'll do some styling How nice did you look in the sink as well? I'm definitely gonna have to do a sinky. Look how stunning that looks on the window. So let me just take a step back. They look so realistic. I can't believe they're faux. Like, I know I've got to bend the stems a little bit, but you can't really tell. And with water, they just look so realistic there on the windowsill. I'm obsessed, it looks so stunning. So here's my little peg shelf area and I just love how a little tea towel looks hanging on one of the pegs. So I'm just gonna swap over, oh, I'm falling. <laughs> just gonna swap over the tea towel. This tea towel was from Primark and I thought it was absolutely stunning. This lovely gingham pattern with the pink flowers. I do really love this one, but let's see how the gorgeous striped one looks. I do really like that there, but I feel like because I've got greens on that shelf, I feel like I do like the green one there more. So I might pop the striped one on my other peg shelf. Let's see. Let's swap the green one back because I really do love the green one. I mean, I can swap them about, can't I? Literally, like swap things about all the time. Let's twist around this way to this little peg shelf. I feel like I could take the apron off and have this here. Yes, this is the vibe, I think, because I think it looks so stunning. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but <laughs> if you can, I'll just carry on talking. I just think this looks so stunning with the Gypsy Feeler wreath. Oh yes, love that. That is such a simple, country modern, rustic vibe. Looks very white company as well, with this striped pattern. Oh, that is gorgeous. And then as for my small little bowl of just sewing tears. Let me just show you what I was thinking with the candle. So I've got this gorgeous candle and this candle plate. This candle plate is from Heartmade Interiors. I got it in the Maison de Mingle goodie bag and I love how a little candle looks on there. But this is what I was thinking for like a candle plate with this little bowl. Look how adorable that looks. I love that so much. You could literally have that like if I just move that one and pop that one in its place. That looks super cute. Or you could have like a little tea light on it, like I said upstairs. Move that bowl and just have this. So, if, because if I have the bowl, I feel like it's too 
bobble, bobbly, if that makes sense. So if I just have the Neptune vase, the little bowl from just so, and then the Neptune candle, I feel like that was nice and cute and simple. And then I can move this to somewhere else, which makes me very excited as I love moving things around the house. Maybe even the living room, because I wanted it in the living room anyway, but it just ended up in the kitchen. So yeah, I'll bring this to the living room, pop a little candle on there. And then as for the bowl, sorry about the mess, this is literally my life right now, <laughs> panel in the living room. But as for the bowl, like I said before, I don't think I've got, like I've just tried to pop it on the shelf up here and it just sticks out like my shelf's not wide enough. So if you've got like really wide shelves, this will look absolutely stunning on, on your shelves. But for me, I think I'm going to pop this when the living room's all styled up again. I think I'm going to pop it at like the bottom of the coffee table like that as like I see that view all the time and I take pictures of it all the time and I feel like it will look really nice just styled on top of a few coffee table books just on its own for like a nice simple look like down there so I'll move the Neptune artichoke and maybe a few of the books and pop this there instead. I just feel like that'll look really nice and simple, very country modern vibes and just be a nice little decorative piece for the bottom of the coffee table. That's not too much. So yeah, I'll show you that when I manage to get this state sorted out. <laughs> also, I meant to show you these. So my mum was in Leeds a few weeks ago and she picked these up for me. So they're from the Yorkshire Soap Company and I just thought I'd show you them on camera. So the first one, so they're all made out of soap. The first one is this little bunny. <laughs> smells really nice and obviously I am bunny obsessed and mum has two grand bunnies so she got me this little bunny soap. So I'll pop that somewhere maybe in the actual bunny room. But then look at this. The pot is soap. The flowers, the petals are soap. How gorgeous is that for a bathroom? And obviously it's kind of like a not a diffuser, but do you know what I mean? Like that sort of vibe, like you, you can walk into the room and smell this because it smells really strong. But obviously it's soap. I can't even get over the petals. The petals are soap. I just think it looks so stunning in for a little bathroom. Mum's got it in her downstairs toilet. She bought one as well. So I think I'm going to do the same. Let's do it now, shall we? Let's pop it in. I always do like the bathroom smelling nice and I feel like it's going to go with my new like rhubarb colours that I've got going on in here. So where shall we pop it? Should we pop it like here? Oh, cute. I love it and it smells so good as well. So guys, I'm gonna end the video there. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's little home haul in the little bits that I filmed it in and also seeing how I styled the gorgeous pieces around my home as well. Everything that I've shown in today's video will be linked down below in the description box as always, as well as any discount codes that I may have as well. Everything you need will be there, so definitely check it out if you fancy treating yourself to anything and if there is anything else that you want to know where it's from or like anything at all, just comment down below and ask me and I'll just send you the link. Thank you so much for watching guys and thank you if you got this far as well. I would love if you could leave a like and a comment down below. As you know, it just helps my channel out and I love chatting with you all in the comments as well. Let me know what your favourite things were from this haul and yeah, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye!